I like how the date reminds you on when you lost. <laughs> no. Be like, yo, no. be like, yo, I lost on the 18th. You don't remember? Do you remember that? I got crushed counted on the 18th. Oh, you don't remember yeah. that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Killer B, Cammy White going up against her former master, M. Bison. Oh, we got the cape off. We got the aerodynamics. We move smoother with the cape off. The killer versus the B. Toy versus CJ Truth. All right. No doubt about it, they face each other plenty of times this entire weekend. On stage, off stage. Uh, plenty that's your Liberty play right here from Toy. Okay. Yes. Let's talk about it. Who wants to win first? Thank yes. You. He took it to him with that scissor kick. Lame her out. Can't okay. lame her out too hard. You gotta, get, you gotta establish that oh. lead a little bit first before you go for it. Oh, you're in the corner now. Now Toy gets to press all the buttons. He's not gonna be waiting, but... Okay, well, he has to back off ever so slightly. CJ Truth trying to find the opening against Toy. Again, the Statue of Liberty play as types so calls it. I like that a lot, by the way. Look at that. Oh, that's Punish. How dare you Psycho Inferno that close? Trying to open him up. No dice. Toy with the defense. Oh, the nice D. answer. Like, nice and late, too. Just to make sure it's not a double reverse. So very smart. Trying to open them up, eh? Oh, okay. Oh, anti-air. He's, he, he's respecting that dive. He thought it was the EX one, so I, 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 could, I could appreciate that. Uh-oh, but look who got the full critical art. Oh, the Houdini? Okay. From behind the curtain, behind the smoke and mirrors. Yeah, you don't want to contest that. That's way too difficult. Critical art. No, he's going to spend that. And he might just enforce this offense. He's got four seconds. Oh, that still could have gone towards Torres' favor if he landed a scissor kick, but he caught him with a normal first. You know what would have been the big play right there? He did scissor kick. He should have done roundhouse scissor kick, possibly. He probably actually did that, thinking that uh, CJ was trying to backdash. He just checked him with that low forward. I think that's definitely what he wants to do. Nonetheless, though, that was in the past. Wow! He got the neutral jump in anticipation for the Psycho Axe. Mm. Trying to go for the open up. Good defense from Toy. And he gets the counter poke and the knockdown. Free Psycho Axe? No, I like that. I like how he uses the standard face. Even though he's not opening him up, he's shaving that gray help little by little. And he's trying to force that jump. Super. Oh, that's it. You know that's a done deal already from the minimum. Damage scaling, the minimal damage scaling off of that critical art conversion. CJ Truth, a nice and clean first game over Toy. CJ Truth, the champ. He just won the open premiere. Yeah. Even the lights of Tokido, and he is still grinding. He's literally at a session right now. He doesn't need to anymore. He doesn't need to. But depending on the results uh, for this part of the tournament, it can really shake things up for one of the players at the bottom. A particular Chris Tatarian, to be exact. That Depending on how, how this turns out. Right. Oh, yeah, so who is it that got to win? All right, so it's, if Punk, I think if Punk, Justin... Uh, CJ or no, Toy. Or Toy win, Chris T is locked in for the Capcom Cup this year. If Idom wins, CJ that bumps... Knocked out. I mean, no, no, that bumps Chris Tatarian off the, the board. Yeah, I say CJ, I'm bugging. It is Chris Tatarian. I'm pretty sure my beloved is watching at home, crossing both of his fingers. Hoping that one of those individuals win the tournament. Ooh, what a whiff punish. Oh. Swinging away again. Why not? San Fierce is just so far away and we'll confirm on that. It's nice and easy. Oh, he tried to get the he tried to get the grab. That was so sneaky, Toy. You already saw the committed respect there from Toy. He was like, you're gonna dive kick, I'm gonna just sit here. And he just did that empty hooligan and got a free franchise for it. Okay, I see you, CJ, thinking ahead of the game. That means you are in that man's cabeza. Okay. I think this uh, the kind of stance that Toy is taking right now, it's giving CJ a lot of time to really assess how he wants to open Toy up. Yep. I think he needs to walk forward just a little bit more, inch can be more towards the corner, so that when the fights happen and it goes in Toy's favor, he's got more push to it. Yeah, I agree, right? Like, Toy is kind of sleeping on the wheel. Like, he's looking for something specific, but CJ's not even giving it to him. So he definitely, like you said, should move forward and start some of that offense. He can do it so easily, too. The standing fears can reach. He got a psycho axe, but you know what? It is CJ Troop. He can with punish his bundle, 100%. No conversion there. You saw the little forward hit, but that's fine for CJ Troop. 
He has a lot of life to work with. Yeah, counter hit exclusive. Uh, the check with the three frame, and it was a counter hit. That's why that combo actually connected. You can't connect it normally. Oh, that's terrible. Don't know what exactly trying to go there. Maybe for the moon boots. Oh, uh, no. He tried, he tried to let the cycle axe trip. And again, he always has critical art. Yipes. Yep. It's amazing. Fully loaded CJ. His meter management has been phenomenal, and it just poses the threat, right? If he has that much meter, he could always close the gap in with an EX hooligan to the dive kick, or even just a normal EX dive kick. He's got so many options in, and it's just such a threat. But he doesn't use it. He keeps you guessing in the neutral. This is true. Yeah, I feel, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I agree with you 100%. Toy needs to be on the move right now. Because he already know he, he's at a disadvantage at the fact that he cannot walk as fast as Cammy. So you might as well press the initiative just a little bit. Don't give CJ no time to think. That boy moving fast. He's the champ, for Christ's sakes. Did you not see him whoop Tokido's ass? Yeah. Did you not see that? That's not, that's no easy feat. And you're not exaggerating either, because CJ Truth got put into the loser's bracket, and then he brought it back in the grand finals reset against Tokido. Two whole sets. Two sets. I'm glad that you pointed that. And he is here in the regional finals. So he knows what's on the line. He knows. But can he finish the job? So the question is, Toy, how are you feeling? We know CJ's very acquainted. Let's see what Toy brings to the table. Yeah, so again, these two individuals did fight before this top eight as well. We saw them in the last chance qualifier not too long ago. They started the day off uh, right after uh, Tokido did in the first half of winners, the winner's bracket. In semis, it was CJ Truth versus Toy. Again, I mentioned that they had, or some of the players here had a heated debate as to who would whoop who right in the beginning. And here we are again in that stage. Toy fighting up against CJ Truth, the guy who put him into losers the first time around. But now they're fighting in a different stage, and that's the losers bracket. Here comes that pressure right with that standing piece. You already know there's a psycho inferno accompanied with those standing pieces, just in case the CJ Truth dash is in. The Hurricane Rana, we get the knockdown. I like the back dash just to establish the situation here, just to see what's going on. Plus frames, I'm next to you, but nice walk back there from CJ Truth. And caught the cross strong, continue the combo. Great conversion there from CJ Truth. Now oh. double throw into the corner. Toy is looking real smothered right now. Activation off the counter, his stand short. Uh. Trying to put it over the top of her head. Oh, the DP. He could have gone for the critical art. He built it right then and there, too. But CJ Truth looking to save that bar. Oh, okay, that's no, it. there it is. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, spending that cash while Toy is in V-Trigger, not going to get out. And then the, the only options he had there, right, to safely try to get out is a back dash. Or like you said, a V-reversal, but he was in V-Trigger. The back dash, he would have flipped out. But the, the problem was he had a pixel of health, so he definitely was done. Like hotcakes. Ooh. Looking at match point here, CJ Truth trying to eliminate Toy. Toy still hasn't been able to find himself in this set. He no hasn't footing. been able to play the way he wants to play. He gets caught off guard with the stand fierce again. CJ Truth with the jump in opening. Yep. And I mean, knowing CJ, he must play Tampa Bison a lot online. I could be wrong, but those guys was that treacherous trio. Knuckle do CJ Truth, Tampa Bison. So that might be a possibility. He has been getting some of that matchup experience and staying accustomed to this matchup with Kemi White. No. What a fake out. Toy thought it was going to be a uh, dive kick. That's why he went for that hell attack. But he just went straight for the hooligan. And CJ lands before Toy. The Ooh. slide into the DMs. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. OK. He's going to spend it. This is rough right here for Toy. And he's in. Oh, the throw and the finish. CJ True moves on in the loser's side. But big, Woo. big ups to Toy. You know, his season is officially over with that loss to CJ Truth. Not to say that he's going to stop grinding. He's an Man. excellent player, and he's only can, he can only climb up from here. So good stuff to him. But CJ Truth, the story of this tournament, not only won the Open Premier, but he is still 
in the running to win the North American Regional Finals here at the Capcom Pro Tour. DC, oh, nation's capital. And I like the sportsmanship between the two. They, even after it was over,